Hey, how's it going? Welcome. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the difference between the player GUI and the starter GUI. And yeah, so the first thing that I'm going to explain is what the starter GUI does. Okay, so the starter GUI at the start of the game, or well, when the player joins, um, what it does is um, you join and it copies every single thing from the starter GUI and it puts it into the player GUI. Um, I see a lot of people that when they're trying to change the starter GUI, they expect it to change on the player GUI, meaning they expect it to change in front of the player on their screen at that moment. Okay? And that's just not going to happen because the starter GUI is just replicated at the start when the player joins. Um, I can give you guys an example of this and show that the player GUI is different from the starter GUI just because the player's UI is what is actually happening on the screen of that person at that time. So how I'm going to prove this is I'm going to insert a screen UI and insert a frame into our little screen UI over here. And I'm going to play test it. And what you're probably saying, um, yeah, well, over here on the starter's UI on the right hand side, you can still see that it's in there and it's just still the same thing that's on my screen. Well, yes, but my player GUI still has the same thing. And you're probably still wondering, what even is the player GUI? Well, the player GUI is within my player. So you would go to players, your name, and then your player GUI. This is where the player GUI is at. And I'm going to open this up. And here's my screen GUI. It's a copy of the screen GUI right here. I can show you. It's this. Okay, and this screen GUI is the one that's actually on my screen, and it's just a copy of this one. See, if I delete this right here, it's not going to delete off my screen, because that's not the one that's actually on my screen itself. This right here, this screen GUI, is the one that is right here. I delete this, and it's off my screen, as you can see. Well, you might be wondering, how do I even reference it, or how do I even change it like that. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to reference it really quick. Actually, I'm going to keep that up. So how I'd reference this is I can either go, uh, actually, I'm going to put this in our frame. Our frame itself could be like local frame equals script dot parent. Or if you see this, it's still going to reference this frame or uh, a harder way, but you could do it like this local player equals game dot players dot local player. So now we have our player, um, player, wait for child, player GUI. I'll just local frame equals wait for child screen GUI. And then we would probably do frame. So we go from our player to our player GUI, which we wait for child because the player GUI is being instanced as well as your G screen GUI is getting copied. So I always like to wait for child on these and then our frame. And yeah, also this does work in a server script, but also keep in mind that you're going to have to get the player a different way. So you're not gonna be able to use your local player in a server script. And yeah, that's about it. Um, those are the most key differences that I know of, and I hope that you guys enjoy it. Or maybe this helps um, kind of get rid of those misconceptions. And peace.